Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, so for this video, I'm going to be taking you around my latest pickup that I got for the Arrow Video 4K release of the Bruce Lee Golden Harvest Collection. Now, as you can see with my thumbnail, this is probably the biggest gamble I have ever made when it comes to my movie collection. I have not seen a single Bruce Lee movie in my entire life. As a matter of fact, I would nearly go as far as to say that I have never seen a martial arts movie. It's a genre that I always wanted to get into, but for some strange reason, I was never willing to give it the time of day. Now, this is something that I did not jump into. I, I want you to know that right now. I spoke about it countless times with my good friend John over at Mondo Chelevic Movies. He was giving me uh, a good amount of guidance when it comes to this release. He was adamant that he he was adamant that I was going to love these movies, and he just wanted me to give them a go. And my plan was to actually watch uh, anyone that's seen my video at the start of the week where John gave me uh, Police Story 1 and 2 from uh, Jackie Chang. Now I know they're very different movies uh, to what you see with Bruce Lee, but uh, them movies were meant to kind of just set me up in a weird kind of way to this collection. But unfortunately I was getting very concerned that this set was going to sell out. So I took a gamble, I took a huge, huge gamble. And I am crossing my fingers here, folks. I really, really am that I'm going to enjoy these movies. And hopefully this will be the start of, uh, uh, you know, my love of, uh, my love of uh, martial arts movies. I'm actually getting a bit tongue-tied here because I am so scared at the moment when it comes to this collection. Um, you know, I was looking at the special features on it. It could be a case of, you know, if I don't enjoy the movies, there's a great chance that I will enjoy a lot of the special features on this set, folks. And I have to tell you, it's, it's, it's staggering. It is staggering, the amount of special features on this one. Uh, there is so much to go through. Each movie is just jam-packed with special features. I can't, I can only imagine the amount of work that has gone into this entire set, never mind the presentation, the packaging, which looks absolutely extraordinary. And I can't wait to take us around it. But when you do look at the, some of the special features that's on this, the restorations they had to do as well, and I've actually checked out one or two of them as well, and they look stunning. The audio I felt, felt, um, felt a little bit on the thin side, but I think that's come to be expected when it comes to Bruce Lee movies. So I'm definitely going to give that a pass. But yes, the restorations are shaping up to be absolutely spectacular. And uh, I definitely think this is probably easily Arrow Video's greatest release. It's definitely probably the greatest Bruce Lee collection uh, you will ever likely see. And it's probably the best that's ever going to come out. So like I said, I took a gamble on it and I am, I'm really hoping the gamble pays off. So folks, I'm not going to waste any time because there is quite a bit to get through here and uh, I want to try and show you this in, in, uh, under the best possible light uh, and hopefully I can do this set some justice because it is an absolute, it's astonishing, I've never seen anything quite like it. So uh, right, here we go, this is my Bruce Lee collection and uh, I hope you enjoy this one. Right, so here we go. So if it sounds like I don't know what I'm talking about during this segment of the video, well, the simple thing is I don't. This is all very new to me, so I hope you can bear with me. So I have removed uh, the J card off that was wrapping around it, uh, and I'll just quickly show it to you there, but that is a close look at the special features, and uh, you really have to pause the picture on this one because uh, there is quite a bit there. I have never seen anything quite like it. And as you can see down the bottom there, the Blu-ray is region B lock, so just uh, bear in mind if you are interested in picking this release up. So uh, yeah, that's just a quick look at the J card. So uh, put that to a side. Let's get on with the release. So uh, yeah, as you can see, I got the red variant of it. Uh, you got Bruce Lee there on the cover. Now there was a little white mark up there. I thought there was something around my box. I thought something kind of uh, uh, peeled off the box set, but it's not. It's actually part of the artwork. So uh, don't get any. Uh, don't get worried about it. There was one little bit of damage on it. Uh, it's actually on one of the corners. It's only. It's it's tiny. You can see it there. Just a little tiny bit of a crease on it, but other than that, uh, the set is in absolute perfect condition. So this is the uh, the spine of it, and as you can see, it shows you every movie that's inside this release. And then right around to the other side, and you have, uh, it's basically the same again. And then right around to the back, and here we go, I love the artwork on the back of this. I actually prefer this uh, to the main cover artwork. 
Uh, it is absolutely exquisite. And I'm always saying it, I'm gonna have to say it again, but red and black, it just works so well for me. And I think if I had the option of getting, uh, you know, uh, if I was able to get the yellow one, uh, I still think I would have went for this one. Uh, because again, I do love that color scheme. So again, taking nothing away from the yellow box edition, it just looks, uh, yeah, it looks remarkable. So uh, that's the top of the box anyway. And then right around to the bottom is there anything there or nothing at all. So right, that is the collection. Let's open it up and have a look and see what's inside. So uh, wow, <laughs> uh, isn't that just uh, staggering? Uh, I've never seen anything quite like that. It is beautifully, beautifully presented. One little gripe, one tiny little gripe. Now, I don't know if anyone's complained about this, but when you see the arrow labels on the top there, kind of a nine when you see the Warner Brothers label there for End of the Dragon, but I understand why it's there. But uh, yeah, look, it's a minor little nitpick to, uh, to an astonishing set. So, uh, right, let's not waste any time. Let's get on with the movies, and uh, there is quite a bit to get through here. So I'm gonna move the box set to a side, and let's start with the first, and the first is The Big Boss. And uh, yeah, the artwork, I'm, you're gonna hear me say this a lot during this video, so a huge apology for it, but the artwork is absolutely beautiful. Uh, so I'm not gonna spend too much time with it. As a matter of fact, I'm actually just gonna open, oh, wait a minute, we have something here. Uh, it's a little postcard for an upcoming title, Lover's Lane. So I uh, put that to a side. Uh, so I, I'm gonna open the, uh, the edition up full. So there we go, that is, that is it. All the special features there on the left as well. It is absolutely jam-packed. And then I'm gonna turn it around to the opposite side. And I'm presuming, now again, you know, bear in mind, I have no idea what I'm talking about here, but I presume that's the original artwork for the movie. I could be wrong. That is your 4K disc. And that is the artwork behind the discs. So there we go first, folks, we're off. And that is the big boss. Right, so on to the next. We have, uh, oh, okay. It is the big boss again. And then this is the the, Man the Mandarian Kush. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, again, do not know what this is all about. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you are going to let me know in the comment section, but uh, I will open it up in full again. And as you can see, this one has an all white finish. And uh, yeah, looks amazing. Uh, not too many special features on this one, but that's that's to be expected, seeming it is, in a way, a different cut of the movie. And then turn it around. And that is your disc and the artwork there on the left-hand side. And right under the disc here, I'll quickly show you the artwork. Voila. So there we go. That is the second edition inside this set. So put that to a side. Let's get on to the next. Now, Fists of Fury. Um, now, I'm not sure if this is the movie that John told me about. I'm going to be a bit all over the place here. I know there's one movie where he died uh, during it. And, uh, yeah, there was a lot of uh, kind of uh, uh, doubles that they got in for him. Now, I'm not sure if it is this. I could be completely wrong. So, uh, again, apologies for that. But, again, artwork looks exquisite on this one. So I will open that up and yeah, jam packed with special features. As you can see as well, the uh, the 4K presentations on this as well is all done with Dolby Vision, which is always great to see. So I uh, turn it around. That is the inside artwork. That is your 4K disc. And I did check out this one. I think I knocked this one on and I was quite impressed by its picture quality. And that is the artwork behind the disc, which looks badass. Right, so there we go, that is uh, Fists of Fury. Amazing. Right, up next, this one now I'm actually quite excited about. Now, again, I could be getting this wrong, but I'm almost certain he fights Chuck Norris in this movie, which is quite intriguing, but just check out the artwork on this one. Amazing, and I love the way all the color schemes are quite different on each release. So uh, I will open this up in full. So this one uh, is right up there. It's, it's when it comes to my expectations. I'm really hoping uh, to enjoy this movie. So uh, turn it around. That is the artwork inside. And that is your 4K disc. And I think I knocked this one on as well. And I think this might have looked the best out of the ones I have looked at. And that's the artwork behind the disc. So there we go. Way of the Dragon. Or the Way of the Dragon. Right, so up next. Right, here we go. Uh, this is the big one, Enter the Dragon. This is the one that I am going to start with. 
and uh, I remember this artwork quite well. It is beautiful, and it's great to see it get the kind of see them put the original artwork on this as well. It's just a shame that uh, the disc is not 4K. But I was told by a lot of people that the uh, the Blu-ray on this is quite amazing as well. So uh, yeah, I'm still very intrigued to check it out. And this is the inside artwork. And uh, we'll lift this disc out, and there is nothing behind it. So. There we go, that is Enter the Dragon, and uh, yeah, that's the one that's going to be, hopefully it's going to set me up nicely for this collection. Right, so Game of Death. Now, I'm almost certain, to, uh, <laughs> I'm going to be saying this a lot, I could be wrong, but there is one movie I know where Bruce Lee fights this fella, and he's like, I think he's like seven foot tall. He is quite big, and something's telling me this is the movie. It does look like him in the background. Uh, so, uh, looking forward to checking out... Uh, that fight sequence between the two of them and uh, as you can see his there uh, I think he has the nunchucks in his hand there on the main cover So uh, that is game of dash turn it around. That's the artwork inside and Open I'll oh, take the disc out. Sorry, and there we go. You got Bruce Lee kind of the same pose on the, uh, the left side as well So there we go right that is game of death Okay, put that to the side and on to so we've Game of Death again, and this is the alternate versions. So it's the artwork is quite similar to the alternate cut of the big boss, I think it was. So I like the way they've done that. They kind of go back to the original white, uh, which looks quite beautiful. And uh, there is there is actually a lot of special features on this, even though it is just alternate cuts to the movie. So uh, right onto the inside artwork. You got your disc there. The disc is a Blu-ray as well. Bear in mind as well. And that is the artwork in the back. That's actually my favorite artwork uh, that's been behind all the discs. It looks amazing. So there we go. That's the alternate cuts of uh, Game of Death. So uh, I won't be watching them. I, I want to just watch the movie, the theatrical version before I do anything. What the hell? The final Game of Death. So this is another cut to the movie. Uh, that is absolutely insane. Oh my God. The effort that's gone into the set. And again, as you can see, much like the last version, they're kind of gone back to that white. Uh, presentation on it, which I think works incredibly well for this set. So, uh, right. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just... I really am blown away by the effort that's gone into this set. So, uh, as you can see that this is a Blu-ray release as well. And is there anything behind it? There we go. Ah, so it is the movie I can see now. Okay, that is. this is going to be uh, very intriguing uh, to check out. Right, so there we go. That is the final game of Dash. So, on... <laughs> what the hell? So, Game of Death 2. I never realised there was actually a sequel to this movie. Or is this just another uh, alternate cut? Again, I do not have a clue. But as you can see, they're, they're stuck to the, the kind of white pattern as well on this. And uh, it kind of makes me think that maybe it's an alternate version. But then, why would you call it Game of Death 2? But, um, right, that's it in full anyway. And then I'll take his inside. That's the artwork. And I will remove the disc for his. And that is a Blu-ray disc as well. And that's the artwork behind the disc. Right, folks. There we go. That is Game of Death 2. So I'm, I'm really going to have to start doing a bit of reading and uh, trying to understand everything that's going on with these uh, different cuts. So I'm presuming this is, it says Bruce Lee, the man and the legend slash the legend. So I'm presuming this is, a, again, it's just a, probably a documentary on the life of Bruce Lee. And it is releases like this. It's going to be documentaries like this that's going to be, uh, that gets me genuine excited. I'm really looking forward uh, to checking them out and getting to know him uh, better. So uh, there we go. That is the artwork in full. That is all the special features on the left-hand side. And then turn it around. And this is a Blu-ray disc as well. And that is the artwork behind it. So I'm presuming, I might be wrong, that might not be a documentary at all. Again, I'm sure you as well let me know in the comment section. But yes, that is that is the last of the discs that you get inside this. So uh, right, up next, uh, we have this incredible hardbound back book. Oh, hardback book, sorry. And uh, yes, you have uh, Bruce Lee there. He has the nunchucks in his hand. Uh, anything on the back of it, just red and black. Uh, I think that's to do with the, the, the jumpsuit that he's actually wearing. It's a very famous 
I know it's quite famous and I think that's why everyone wanted to get the yellow release of this uh, collection. That and the fact that it was actually, uh, that set is quite limited because I think it was an exclusive uh, to Arrow video. So as you can see, there is quite a write up here in here. It's to do, I think it's to do with the history of Bruce Lee. And as you can see, they're basically going over every single movie that you see in this box set. So uh, I haven't had a chance to read this book, book uh, yet, folks. Uh, I literally just got this box set in my hand and I felt it was only right to put a video together as quickly as possible. So there we go, that is the book. And uh, wow, it's uh, the weight of this is unbelievable. So uh, it looks fantastic. Right, so put that to a side. Right, up next. So uh, we have, um, I think these are postcards. And uh, as you can see, you've got Bruce Lee there on the cover. You've got a red background there. Uh, is there anything on the back? you just got Bruce Lee is dynamite. So uh, I opened this before. Just be careful when you're open, uh, closing this, folks. Uh, it was actually quite hard to do. So so uh, just, you just don't want to kind of tear any of the cardboard or anything like that. So uh, right, let's go through these postcards as quickly as possible. So I think they're covering every single movie. Uh, with these postcards as you can see we are actually on to the big boss now i did go through these already and i'm almost certain there is no postcards for enter the dragon now i'm not quite sure why uh they done that maybe it's because it is a warner brothers release and uh they didn't want to put the effort in maybe arrow video is a little bit sour at warner brothers for not letting them uh, uh use the 4k transfer it is a shame it is the one downside uh, to this absolutely spectacular release. So uh, right, we're on to Game of Death now. So uh, did, is that what I started with? Did I start with Game of Death? I actually can't quite remember. Let me just quickly go through them again. I think I might have started with Game Oh no, I started with the big boss, didn't I? So uh, yeah, that is a close look at the postcards. As you can see, when you look at the backs of them, uh, you can see Game of Death there. And uh, as you can see, the artwork changes. You got the way the dragon. So I'm presuming this is the original artwork uh, for these movies. Got the big boss there as well. So, wow, that is an incredible, incredible amount of postcards there, folks. So, right, that is all the postcards that you get in this set. So that then takes, takes us on to uh, a poster you have here. And this poster is covering two movies. And I'm gonna try and get the frame as well as I can. But as you can see, uh, this is uh, Way of the Dragon. Oh, and I see Chuck Norris's name on that. Wow, that is gonna be that is going to be exciting to check out. So uh, that is one side of the poster. Then you flip it around and you've got a great poster of uh, the big boss. And I have to tell you, is the, uh, the paper on this. I always praise um, Arrow Video when it comes to the posters. The paper just feels absolutely amazing. So, uh, right, that is the poster. And let me see if I can fold that back up without any problems. Uh, I don't know if I can or not. There we go. Right, so that is the poster. And that lastly brings us on to these um the and i'm not going to say poster a poster uh, postcards they kind of feel like um they kind of feel like like photos like they just feel incredible you have to feel these to believe it they feel uh, incredibly incredibly deluxe now there's nothing on the backs of these as you can see uh, they do have an incredibly high gloss finish to them and every single one of them are in black and white as well which is rather nice so there you have it folks that is the these photos that you get in it and that is basically everything that you get inside this just yeah i can't praise this set enough so i'm just going to bring it back in again so i'm going to just sit these postcards in and i'm going to show you how everything slots back in but there you go that is your poster this is your booklet uh let me see if i can get it in without any issue there we go uh we have the postcards here just bear with me if i can get this in uh, close this up. There we go. That's your postcards in. Then you've got the man, the legend. Uh, then this is Game of Death 2. Uh, then you've got the final Game of Death. Uh, you've also got the alternate versions of Game of Death. And this is <laughs> Game of Death. Unbelievable. So many versions. Enter the Dragon. Uh, if I can get that in there. Uh, Way of the Dragon. Uh, Fist of Fury and you go the big boss and we're getting down to it now and then lastly is 
uh, the big boss. Oh, sorry, the big boss. That was the Mandarin cut, and then this is the uh, uh, the theatrical version of it. If I can get it in without any issues, there we go. And that is the entire collection. So let me slot this back on. There we go, folks. So um, yeah, I have nothing but positive th things to say about the presentation on this set. Uh, I, I've never seen anything quite like it, and I have to admit. I was very worried picking up this set, but after seeing it now and going through it, I think uh, my worries have subsided. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful addition. Right, folks, so there you have it. That is the Bruce Lee collection. And uh, yeah, this is going to be uh, an interesting journey, to say the least. Uh, I'm hoping to start them this weekend. Uh, I'm going to start with Enter the Dragon. Yes, I know it's coming out on 4K in September, but I can't wait that long. I was told by John, start with Enter the Dragon. I trust everything that man tells me, and he told me to start with that. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So there you go, folks. So as per usual, if you did like what you see here, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you could do, leave a comment down below, and please do share your thoughts on this Bruce Lee collection. And if you have seen the movies, just let me know what I'm getting into. I'm so, so curious to hear what you all think out there. And yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.